Michelle from Scrap Secrets and I'm here with two Michaels hauls and a small project that I did using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. So first I want to say sorry if you hear the noise in the background. They are putting new roofs on all of the townhouses in my row and they've been here since 7 o'clock this morning and they woke me up of course on my day off. Uh, so if you hear that noise in the background that's what it is so I'm sorry about that. Um, I went to Michael's on Saturday and then today, and there were two different sales. Uh, Saturday, AC Moore had a 50% off coupon. Tried to use that, but everything that I got was either on sale or clearance. And then today, there was a 55% off AC Moore coupon, a 50% off Michael's coupon, and a 25% off all regular and sale priced items at Michael's. So I used all three of those coupons and got some really good stuff. A lot of it, again, was on clearance because I feel like a lot of the stuff that's at Michael's, they're really putting on clearance. They're trying to get rid of it. Um, I guess they're coming out with new lines, so which is always a good thing because I feel like I have most of the stuff at Michael's because I go crazy sometimes when I go shopping. So the first thing I want to show you is this glitter tape. And this is the light, I think this is light purple. This one is eggplant. And it doesn't, it's a little bit darker purple than it's showing up on screen. Sorry about the glare. And this is pretty much the color of the dresses for my sister-in-law's wedding. It's a little bit off, but I'm going to use those in the pictures. And then this really cool green. So I think what I'm going to do is I have ribbon that's like this. And I've used it behind numbers on birthday cards. And I think... And I die cut the numbers out of the cardstock and then put this behind it. So I think that's really cool. So I probably will do some cards with this. Um, and then all of these stickers are these embellishments were 79 cents. So I got these champagne dots. And then these are the dark gray dots. And then these starbursts. I got them in the black and the clear. The two colors of blue. Blue is my favorite color. And then purple. Got those. And then they had a lot of stamps for on, or on clearance. And the one set, these were originally $15.99 and they were marked down to $9.99 on clearance. They only had one of the princess one, so I grabbed that and I figured while I had that, I would get the prince one too. And it's the Hero Arts Clear Stamps. Princess ones, it's CL392. You can see. And then the Prince one is CL412. They're cute. And then the last two things that I got at the, oh, sorry, last four things I got at the haul um, are these two stamps the basketball stamp and the football stamp. And these were $249. I think they were either five or six dollars originally and then I got two embossing powders from Recollections Periwinkle and Ruby I thought these would be cute for baby stuff I have a boy baby shower coming up so I'm sure I'll be using that and those were a dollar seventy nine and I think they're usually three ninety nine so that was my haul from Michaels on Saturday and today I got some similar things let me show you Actually, let's start with the closest bag. I got these wire bins. They were originally $7.99. They're 60% off, and they have all kinds of colors. They had pinks and greens and blues and the white and silver. So I got two black and two pink. The colors for my scrap secrets when I do um, craft shows are black and pink and hot pink. So I have an apron that's that. Um, which is in zebra, so I picked those up. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I think they came out to be like two dollars and thirty cents each, down from eight dollars. So not bad. And then in the dollar fifty bin in the front, they had all of these little journal books, and these are usually a dollar fifty. They were forty percent off, and then I got twenty per twenty five percent off of that. So I believe they came down to 87 and 88 cents, I think. I think that's what they were. So not bad for under a dollar. I got this design. And I got three of each of them. This design. I feel like I'm going to cover them and then probably put some washi tape around the edges. And then decorate them. Maybe do some 
Disney characters with them for autograph books or princess stuff. Not really sure yet. I don't really like any of the designs that are on them, so figured what difference does it make. Just picked up three of each one, and I'm sure that I can find scrapbook paper that I like enough to cover them. Those. I mean, some of them are okay, I just don't love them. That, this one's probably my favorite if I had to pick. I like the chevron. And then I also got this party stamp. Celebrate. Um, this is, oh, it doesn't even say. Um, it's Memento, Memento. And it doesn't even say what it is. So, I guess it's their Celebrate stamp. And then Recollections journaling cards were on sale. And these, I think, were a dollar. And these were like a dollar ninety nine, something like that, down from four or five dollars. So these are the four by six ones, and these are the three by fours. And I'll show you why I bought the three by fours in a minute. When I get to that bag. Okay, so I used the 55% off coupon for this 100 count paper. Uh, it's cardstock. It's 110 pounds. I'm going to start using these as my card bases. I've been using the 65 pound weight, but I think that the 110 is a better weight. I've seen a lot of people talk about that as that's what they use for their card bases, so I'm going to try this out. I actually bought some 110 pound weight cardstock at uh, Joann's a couple weeks ago, so I haven't tried that out yet. And these borders were 99 cents. They're all travel. There was a ton of embellishment stuff that was on sale. A lot of it was 79, 99 cents. We're going away in a couple months, and I just thought these would be really cute to add to the scrapbook that I know I'm going to make once we get back, if I ever finish anything. I, okay. And then this stamp, I think this was 3.99. You're not old, you're vintage. I thought that was really cute. And this is by Seven Gypsies. And distributed by Hamilton Hampton Art. And it's PS0628. Doesn't have a name. Is that stamp? And then the Recollections Twine was all 79 cents. And I think I got a blue one as well. So I got the blue, the green, and the black. Can never go wrong with that. Um, I also bought this washi tape, and this was a dollar ninety nine, marked down from seven ninety nine. Pretty good deal. Bought some more of the gems. These are a little bit larger than the ones that I had before, but these are seventy nine cents. And these are the lighter gray, and this is probably the same color champagne as the other as the ones I bought earlier. And then I bought three, four more rolls of the glitter tape. I bought a blue. I love blue. I bought, this is, this kind of looks like the one, almost looks like the one I have, but it's not. This is like a pinkish color. And then this is the gold one. And then I also bought like an aqua colored one. And then I used my 50% off coupon for the regular general purpose tape for the ATG. This is the one that's $5.99. Um, and this is the one that you that I use for cards, not for scrapbook, because it's not acid free or it doesn't say acid free on it. Okay. Now I bought this, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, jewelry tray. So I was either thinking about actually using it in my room to start putting some jewelry in because I have jewelry all over the place, or I was thinking I put beads and not beads. Um, like little embellishment things in here so that I could have them out on my desk so that I could use them more. Rolls of washi tape, maybe even the glitter tape. I'm sure that that would, yep, that would fit in there very nicely. I could actually put my rolls like this so I could see them. So you do something like that. I knew that I could find something to do with it. So that was originally $17.99, 60% off of that, and then 25% uh, off of that. So. Now the reason that I bought those 3x4 journaling cards is because they had this pink snap album on sale for $3.99. It was on clearance. And it's originally, I think, $15. So for $4, bucks, really couldn't pass it up. And then they had 
a pack of these dividers, which there's three chipboard dividers. These were 99 cents. I think they were like four or five dollars originally. So not bad. These were all clearance. And then I bought some of the clearance pocket pages. So some of these have three by fours. Like these top ones are three by fours, and then this is a four by six. I think four by six, or is it? Yes, this is four by six. And then this one is the same thing. Some three by fours and four by sixes. And this one has a mixture in it. One is a six by eight, one is a four by six. It has two four by sixes. The other one has three or four three by fours. Next one has two three by fours and one four by six. And then the last one has a two by eight, a four by four, and actually two four by fours. So there's a bunch of different configurations. Here's the thing on the back, because I probably didn't make any sense with that. So I bought those. These were all two forty nine, and I think they were originally five ninety nine for the pack. So I figured I could do something with that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I know that I can always use it for something. And the last things that I bought were because we um, we had a house down the shore and it survived Sandy had minimal damage fixed it up and then sold it and bought a single house knocked that down because it was re it got really really damaged it was a old bungalow and it was right on the ground so there was water damage I mean it, it probably came up to my waist in the house so it was it was pretty bad so we decided to knock it down and um, build a new single house so my mom and dad wanted to chrono chrono eh, wanted to capture all of the time from our old house to the new house and the new house being built and stuff so my mom had asked me to do a scrapbook of just some of the highlights of it she's gonna put together another just regular photo album of pretty much all the pictures that they've taken and they've taken probably 300 and some pictures so it's kinda crazy so we just picked we went through last night and picked 200 pictures to print and I told her that I would go look for albums so I picked out two and I'm not really sure which one we're going to use yet the house is very, very neutral. Downstairs is pretty much all beige. It's a sand color. Uh, the couches are sand color, and it's a white, just a lot of the stuff is white distress, and um, like a, a little bit of a darker wood for some of the, um, some of the other things that they have in the house. So this is one of the albums. I like this one. I think I like this one better than the second one, but she wanted something beachy, my mom. And I bought this one too. So I wasn't sure which one that she's gonna like. I'm going to bring them over to her house and let her choose. I think this is kind of cool because I can change the family out to say our house or whatever she wants it to say. And then I'm going to do the scrapbook of all of the house pictures. So receipt wasn't too bad this time. It usually is a lot longer. It was a little over a hundred dollars. Um, but again, a lot of the stuff was on clearance and didn't qualify for the 25 percent. So, that is the haul, and now I'm going to show you really quickly the project that I did. Now, this isn't my design at all. The directions actually come from Jennifer McGuire's video. I actually um, just wrote down the directions and used some Christmas paper to kind of just mock up a card holder box. So, one of the things that I want to do for my next craft fair, which I don't even know when it is yet, is to offer box card sets thank yous and birthdays and maybe do all occasion cards and something like that and find a really cool closure. She actually shows you how to do a ribbon closure and there's a couple other things I might want to do. The one thing I want to try is putting a slit in here so you can actually just tuck it in and put the cards in here. So this is what she calls a four bar note card. So it's a little bit smaller than a four by six. I think it was a three and seven eighths. I can't remember. The directions are upstairs. Um, I'm sorry, I'm downstairs. And uh, you can go to her YouTube channel. It's jennifermaguireinc.com, I believe. I'll put a link to it underneath my, in the description. Um, but this is the box. Really cool. And it's actually a really cool way to get more out of your tools. So if anybody hasn't seen this, this is the We Are Memory Keepers tool. Uh, this is the envelope making tool, the punch board. It comes with a bone folder in here and a nice little spot where it just slides back into you can't lose it 
Um, this back here is a corner rounder, so it rounds all of your corners if you wanted to. And all of the dimensions on how to make it are on her website. If you want me to do a tutorial on it, leave a comment and I will definitely do that. This was my first attempt at it and I actually it was very, very simple. I just follow her directions. And so the one thing that I want to do is to do it with a designer paper that actually has a direction. This one didn't matter which direction you went in. So I want to try that out so that I can give you guys tips on what you know where to cut what and you know which side you have to put in first because one side creates the top and bottom flaps and the other two sides create the side flaps so you have to be careful about how you put it in there so this is the box I thought it was pretty cool so hopefully I will be able to fit, make some note cards to fit in here make some envelopes with the envelope punch board and that's it so I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this was kind of a long video. It's 16 minutes. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you want to see how I did the box, if you want a tutorial on it, leave me a comment or private message me, and I will make a video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.